Here's the book as it appears in the stores at this moment in time. A dazzling blend of social commentary, tall tale, and magic realism. Our daughter uh, fell in love with this book named Holes by Lewis Socker, and, um, and she came running up to me and she said, Mommy, you should play this awful person, <laughs> the warden in Holes. And I sort of glanced at it and I read uh, her making these boys dig holes in the desert. You know, she stood there, you know, this sort of shapely redhead. And um, I have to say, it was, I, I read the book after I was sent the uh, script, but I never forgot. She loved that book. Her whole generation just loves the book. And the fact that, that they had gone ahead and, and, and gotten Lewis to write the script, I thought was such a, a great move. I, I moved from, from San Francisco to Texas in 1991. And the hardest part was just the long, hot summers. Uh, you know, you, you kind of expect it to be hot in, in July and August. But it's still, in the summers just drag on to September and October, and it's 95 degrees out. I just, it's just really miserable. And when I first started writing Holes, I, I just was writing about the heat. I just, it was almost like therapy. And I imagine this, this boot camp for kids where they'd have to dig under the hot sun every day. And the story just kind of grew from that. I, I had the place before I had any of the characters. But it was never my intention to make it a grim story. It was always going to be a kind of a fun adventure story. So I knew from the beginning that, that, they, that even though they were digging to build character, that there really there'd be buried treasure and that there'd be an escape and all that. But the story just sort of, you know, just grew as I wrote. Well, Miss Catherine, I guarantee that roof for five years, if there's anything else. The windows won't open, and the children and I would enjoy a breeze now and then. I can fix that. My writing routine's a lot different from when I was writing a novel to writing a screenplay. When I write a novel, I write maybe only for the first draft, maybe an hour, hour and a half a day. And on any day, if, if somebody asked me, you know, how'd it go today, I probably would have said, oh, nothing, you know, it was a waste of day, I didn't do anything. It took me a year and a half to write holes or in a few pages a day. And somehow all those wasted days, when you put them together, it turns into something. And during that whole time, I never talked to anyone about what I'm working on, never told my wife or my daughter anything about the book. If, you know, I might say, you know, after six months, I might say, I, I finished the first draft today. And then, you know, after a year and a half, I probably did five drafts and finally let someone else see it. With the screenplay, it's a much more collaborative effort. One of the joys of making the movie to me was working with Lewis Sacker, who, you know, originally said, oh, gosh, I don't know anything about Hollywood, and I'm afraid I've heard horror stories about what's happened to writers who sell their books to Hollywood filmmakers and producers. And I made a commitment to myself and to Teresa Tucker Davies, who's really responsible for finding the book holes, and Lowell Blank, the producers of the movie, uh, that I was going to make Lewis a part of the making of the movie because I didn't want to make a movie that was about a wonderfully appreciated book that didn't reflect the book whose author said I don't want anything to do with this so when we were we when we met Lewis and convinced him that we should be the ones he should sell the rights to the the book to we started looking for a screenwriter and I said hold it I'm a visual director you know I was a cameraman I've worked with a lot of writers on a lot of scripts I will work with you and you will write the script we will figure out together how to take your story and your characters and your settings and make it into a movie. Seeing this, the movie being made has just been a great experience. I think that one day, you know, one day I was typing these words and, and the next, you know, three years later, this whole thing is happening. It's just been amazing. We're not all going to be together anymore after Everybody dreams of finding the great book to make a movie out of. And I think that I was lucky enough to find it.
With broken hands and withered souls, emancipated from all you know, you got to go and dig those holes. You got to go and dig those holes. You got to go and dig those holes.